Happy holidays. Happy holidays. May the merry bells keep ringing. May your every wish come true. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie and today we're watching Knives Out. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Thank you so much for being here, especially you. Yes, you, you, hello you, you. I'm talking to you this time, I swear. I was, last time, I was talking to a lot of people, but this time I'm only talking to you. You, how you doing? Thank you so much to all of my subscribers, all of my golden retrievers who stick around, who watch these movies and shows with me on a regular basis. Your support and fun facts and comments in this community means so much to me and I really appreciate having you here. And welcome if you're new. Hey, hi, how are you? If you like what you see here and you keep watching my videos over and over again, but you have still not joined the golden retriever community, what are you doing? Don't you like golden retrievers? <laughs> They're the best. You can even be a golden doodle if you want. You can be anything. Just click the red button to find out. Today, we're watching Knives Out. I have not seen this movie yet. I'm super excited to see what it has in store. I've heard that it's kind of funny. I don't know much about it aside from some members in the cast like Daniel Craig and Chris Evans and Ana de Armas. And for some reason, when I look up holiday movies, this one gets suggested a little bit. I don't know. Why? Because all I really know about it is it's kind of like a whodunit murder mystery style movie. Maybe there's something about the setting in which the movie takes place. Maybe it's a family reunion. Maybe there's some sort of tone to it that feels fitting for the holiday season despite it being a murder mystery. I don't really know, but for some reason when I look up holiday films, this one kind of gets suggested as a Thanksgiving type movie. Either way, I figured one, this could be a fun movie to watch for this time of year, and two, the sequel, A Glass Onion, has recently come out in theaters, and in order to watch that at some point, I have to watch this. So I'm excited to get to this one today with you guys, and I'm just ready to have some fun and see what this movie is like, because I don't really watch a lot of movies like this. I don't, I've never seen Clue before. I've played the board game, obviously, but that's as far as I've gotten into that world. <laughs> but that's all I really have for this intro. I wanted to keep it pretty short and sweet. So without any further ado, let's hop on into the story. So grab a drink, grab a snack, and let's get into Knives Out. Ooh! Sharp open. The drama, the fog, the dogs running in slow motion, the spooky castle with gray tone behind it, the leaves. It is a Thanksgiving movie, it's fall. My house, my rules, my coming! <laughs> with a millennial mug, that's funny. Very eclectic house, I kinda like it. Not, not that I like everything, I don't like that. But <laughs> the art design for this must have been really fun. He's already up out of bed. <gasps> oh! She was in a little mirror. We could see her reflection. That was cool. I love it when cinematographers play with um, reflections or when directors want to see shots reflected like that. It's such a cool choice. Is he dead? He's murdered. Oh no. Who could have seen this coming? Oh my God, what a fun open. Wait, I love it already. One week after Harlan Thrombey's demise. How you doing, kiddo? Linda. Oh, I love her. You know, the funeral helped, I guess, just seeing him. I thought you should have been there. I was outvoted. Oh. Wait, outvoted? We didn't invite her to the funeral? So, how you doing, kiddo? Everyone calls her kiddo. Interesting. What a weird ass family. All right, we're with Linda Drysdale, Neat Thromby, uh, Harlan Thromby's eldest daughter. <laughs> ah, oh, that is not, oh wait, oh my God, so much is going on in that shot. The little caption with the names is so great, but then also the wheel of knives behind her. <laughs> so he's a knives guy, okay. Hi, Nana. His mom. Nana. Wow. How old is she? We have no idea. Ah, we have no idea how, oh, Ransom is his name. Chris Evans. Ransom, are you leaving? Oh wow, well, she's at least with it enough to know he was leaving. Harlan started out with a rusty Smith Corona and built himself into one of the best-selling mystery writers of all time. Mystery writers, he's a mystery writer. Seems like all his kids are uh -huh. self-made overachievers. Sure. For the record, I'm speaking with Walt Thrombey. Maybe not Walt, is Walt not? 
A self-made overachiever? Dad said the plots just popped into his head, fully formed. It was the easy part for him. <gasps> He's using the piano key. He's using those piano keys as like a tactic. Is it so he doesn't have to speak and he can just signal when he thinks a lie is happening or something? My son Jacob, he's 16, very politically active. The boy is literally a Nazi. He's an alt-right troll dip Kids today with the internet, it's amazing. <laughs> oh God, all their different spins on it, that's hilarious. Kids today with the internet, it's amazing. <laughs> Decide to think about our books and what <gasps> Oh, this is funny. We're all placing in their memories, they're all saying they were next to him, you know, when he was blowing out his candles. I'm, I'm sure none of them were. She's in this movie? This cast is f perfect. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Yep, Flam, your skincare company. Sorry. I forgive oh. you. Yeah, it's skincare, but it promotes a total lifestyle. Oh, she's one of those. Oh. Granddad gives my mom a yearly allowance and he's never missed wiring a tuition payment to my schools. Oh, this is her daughter. He's a genuinely selfless man. She's like the most grounded in reality. And she's like the nicest to Marta, too. You know Dad pays for her crypto-Marxist, post-deconstructural feminist poetry theory, whatever major. Uh-oh. Well, they all hate each other, man. They all hate each other. This is hilarious. But Harlan understood. Is that a lie? Right. They all are like, what's going on with the piano key? So who the f is that? Um, this is Benoit Blanc. Benoit Blanc. Uh, Mr. Blanc is a private investigator of great renown. Who hired a private investigator? I'm here at the behest of a client. Oh, he's Southern. You will find me a respectful, quiet, passive observer. Except when I push the piano keys. Of the truth. Of the truth! Ah! <laughs> That's why you push the piano keys, because they're lying. Marta, Harlan hired her to be around to take care of whatever medical needs popped up. She'll tell the truth. But really, she's like part of the family. She's like the family, except you're all kind of weird with her and... Immigrants, we get the job done. Jesus Christ. And you also didn't invite her to the funeral. Hamilton, <laughs> it's so good. Wow. I saw it at the public. Oh. Oh God, so did I, and I've said that before, but I don't quote it like that to about, oh God, look, oh God. I'm, I hate myself right now. Joni with her thing, Walt with his publishing empire. It's... When are you gonna drop the act? Well. There's a purpose for this. Oh, oh, to get, to get them to talk about each other? And if you think I am dumb enough to be baited into talking family business in front of a police detective and a state trooper. Walt doesn't run He was, he was dumb enough. Did he get into it at the party? Oh my God. Come on, Ed. This wouldn't leave him alone, the poor guy. What? Richard said what? No. I love all of this over-dramatization of everything. Like, we don't really know. They're all, you know, spinning the story for how they perceived it, you know, or want it to be perceived. All these years, I've kept you from building something of your own that was yours. But you're not going to be running the, the publishing house anymore. You're free of it. A AKA you're fired? You just fired him? You fired your son? Dad, are you firing me? Yeah. <laughs> we'll talk details tomorrow. Oh, but then he died. We'll talk details tomorrow, but then he died. <laughs> That's f***ed up. That's so f***ed up. You want to talk about an argument? Hell, Ransom had an argument with him. Ransom, Chris Evans, yeah, let's talk about him. I, I like to keep stuff like this in the family, but with Ransom, he's never had a job. And Dad, for some unknown reason, always supported him. Y'all are all coming at each other for who Dad did or didn't support enough, or who he supported too much. Harlan shouted the phrase, You tell her or I will. You tell her or I will. Bell's ringing. Oh, is he having an affair? Oh. You stay out of my marriage. I know my daughter, and she would want to know. I've put all of it in this letter to her. <gasps> Marked with an L for Linda. So many people are gonna have murder to marry Harlan. Murder to marry Harlan. You have been double dipping Meg's tuition and stealing from me. $100,000 a year. 
but you must know that this is the last money you or Meg will get from me. Oh my god, everyone had motive to kill him. Joni, have you seen Richard? No, I was uh, just done with okay, the uh... No. <laughs> Her choices in this are so funny. She's like so, so over the top, but it works because Tony Collette is just brilliant. But like this woman is so like, ugh, just uh, no, mm -mm. <laughs> like such a, such over the top choices, but it works for her. The letter. Oh, it's got invisible ink on it. It's got invisible ink. I'm positive it's got invisible ink. She knows something. She knows something. Question Marta. Oh. <laughs> you have a regurgitative reaction to Miss Truden. <laughs> to, oh, she does? Does she throw up when she hears lies? <laughs> or just like regurgitative, like she keeps talking? Just the thought of lying. Yeah, oh. it, it makes, makes me puke. Wow, what? That's funny. Is Richard having an affair? Oh, she's not gonna be able to lie. Oh, I don't really like watching people throw up. It makes me sick. Mm, no. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Ew, gross. Is this whole movie gonna be watching her throwing up? I can't handle that. It was, too, it was, the sound design was too much on that. Too immersive. Poor girl. Was Holland planning on cutting off Joni's allowance? Just tell the truth. Please don't throw up. Oh, Joni. What's up? Wow, he really told her everything. For the inheritance? Uh, come on. No, have you seen her Insta? She's her Insta? She's an influencer! What? Influencers kill people? I don't think that, that either of them killed Harlan, though. Otherwise, that letter would have been gone already. I don't think either of them killed Harlan. It's gonna be someone we least expect, you know? I needed an entire picture of the evening in my head, and your piece of it is at its very center. Yeah, tell the truth, girl. Tell, tell him what happened, please. Harlan probably hates all of his kids, because they're all so annoying. That's the truth. Okay, let's do this nine by nine. Right. You ready? I'll whip your ass. Are you sure? Yeah. Ah! <laughs> How dare you? Uh. <laughs> Why can't I beat you at this game? Because I'm not ah. going to beat you. I'm playing to build a beautiful pattern. That's elder abuse. Elder abuse! <laughs> ARP! Whose drugs are, are those the meds that she needs to t I see. I know you weren't looking forward to it. No, but I did it. Cut the line on all four of them. <laughs> all four of them. Ransom included, which we still don't know what that conversation was about. You know, I don't fear death. Well, that's good, because you're going to die soon. Why did I wait till my mid age to become a morphine user? What a... Oh, God. What a nudnik. <laughs> this stuff is the best. Oh, my God. Is there a problem? She gave him the wrong thing. This is what I just give you 100 milligrams of. Excuse me, but, but what is the good stuff's dosage supposed to be? Let's not call it that right now, OK? Three milligrams. No, oh, that's much less. <laughs> Oh, am I gonna die? Shut up, Naloxone, so you don't die in 10 minutes? Oh, well, no pressure. No pressure! You know, this is an interesting and efficient method of murder. I, I need to write this down. I need to write this down! <laughs> Please give him the shot. He, she's gonna give him the shot, and it's gonna be fine. It's like a... Oh, my God. What, did she kill him? He's not here, Harlan. But this isn't how he died. Harlan, we have to call the ambulance. We don't have time. Listen to me. Oh, he's trying to protect her. We have got to get you out of this. Think of your mom. Oh, he's just like, it's okay, I'll die. It's fine, I'm not afraid of death. I already told you. You made a mistake and you feel bad. So, oh my God, she did it, but it was an accident. So is she gonna tell the cop that she throws up when she lies? What's gonna happen? But you have to do exactly what I tell you. Oh my God, he, he's not even feeling the morphine yet? Park and come back on foot up to the house. Climb the side trellis and come in through the trick hall window. You gotta be kidding me. Oh my God. Wow, this movie is so fun. I love the style of the way they narrated everything and shot everything. Get my robe and cap from my bedroom and put them on. Put them on? Oh, to pretend to be Harlan? It sounds crazy, but it'll work. He is a professional. Dad, go back to bed. 
you were seen leaving, and 20 minutes later, I'm seen alive and well by my son. Oh my God, this is crazy. She's, I feel like she's gonna be seen. Oh. That's funny. Ransom. That's funny. Are you back again already? The only person that saw her is the grandma who's losing it. That What a nice touch. Tell fragments of the truth. Tell fragments. Exact order. Oh my God! This is great. Wow, so we already know what happened now. God, poor Marta. Oh, she's the one that did it, but it was accidental. That's f***ed up. What's the matter? Whoa, whoa, hey. <sighs> Breathe. Hey, friend, do you still have your stash? Stash. Ah! With the little angel that looks like it's saying shush. That's f***ed fun. Ah, that's funny. Marta, we've been talking it over, and uh, we'd like to take care of you. Financially, is that what they mean? Oh my God. We all think that you deserve something. Oh God, meanwhile, she's the one that murdered him. You can count on us. Oh God. Oh, and he's watching over. But the thing is, she probably feels this immense amount of guilt when meanwhile, Harlan, Harlan just wanted to protect her in his last moments. And he, even though he knew she did it, he would want this for her. Tomorrow morning, I search the grounds on the house, begin my investigation. <gasps> I want you to be by my side for it. Oh no. Then why me? I trust your kind heart. Uh oh. Oh, this is. Also, you're the only one who had nothing to gain from Harlan's death. Yeah, but it was, she did. Oh god, this is funny, man. I thought we were gonna spend the whole movie trying to figure out who done it, but we know who did it. This machine unerringly arrives at the truth. That's what it does. Always? Tomorrow at 8. Oh God, leave her alone. What are you gonna pay her for this? It's not her job. Also, he's gonna find like the trellis thing that she broke. Ten, ten oak. Ten oak. Oh, footprints. Just walk in the footprints right now. Marta, stay there, Marta. No, no. If you, oh. did you right, call me? All right, stay on that side. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, the dog's great. That's great. That's great, man. This church of character is a dog. Well, yeah, Marta didn't mean to kill him. <laughs> it was very much an accident. Oh my God, that's so funny. She made the right decision by just walking through the footprints again. That's what I was like, dude, just walk through them again. I've never been to a wheel reading. Oh, uh, The trellis. You'll know it when you see it. The dog is bringing the piece of the trellis? The dog brought it to her, what the f That's hilarious. The dog, ah, she's still there! Think you could handle a study? It's so funny, he trusts her so much. <laughs> it's great, actually, that he brought her along. Ooh. Oh, the dogs don't like Ransom. Interesting. So he's gonna be an asshole, huh? He's gonna be a prick. We're officers of the law. You gonna run me in? I don't feel like talking. I'm distraught. You're distraught. I'm getting Biscoff cookies. <laughs> I'm distraught. CSI KFC? <laughs> he's a tool. He's a piece of work. Because if you think that after all the bridges you burned, that any of us are gonna give you, like Dad liked to say, a single red dime, you're nuts! <laughs> he, he's really not letting him, it get to him, that's so funny, he just mouths, wow. That's the one thing they're all unified in is how much they hate Ransom. Who paid money? to get Benoit involved, because that's the only reason he's here. I gotta know, is it Ransom? Would it have been Ransom? Uh, Harlan's assets included the house, which he owned up, right? Um, oh, you guys think you're getting the house? Holding hands like that? Watch him leave all of it to Marta. He also wrote up a statement when he was making the changes and he wanted that read first. <gasps> the statement. I bet none of them are getting Man, I feel like it's gonna get crazy. Some of you may be surprised by the choice I've made here. No pleasure was taken in the exclusion. In the exclusion. It's for the best. It's for the best. What, oh, what's, oh my God. That's stressful. I can't believe they're still smiling. That would make me nervous. Um, wow. Well, yeah, not too complex at all. Uh, it's one letter. Uh-oh. Oh, this is fun. I hereby direct that all my assets, both liquid and otherwise, I leave in their entirety to Marta Cabrera. <laughs> she didn't know. Oh, they're all gonna hate her. They're all gonna hate her. He's smiling because he knew he wasn't gonna get it anyway. 
Uh, no. No? Oh, Marta. Oh, Marta, they're all gonna turn on you. Oh, this is terrifying. He's laughing, Rinson's just laughing, ha! <laughs> Cause now he just gets to watch his whole family suffer. Oh, Marta, I feel for you, girl. Oh, I really hope the one girl that's been nice to her the whole time, um, Joni's daughter doesn't turn on her. Oh, you little <gasps> She didn't do anything! Oh, no. Yeah, Marta, run away, run away, run away, please. Don't subject yourself to this trauma. Oh God, they're all chasing her. Oh God, poor Marta. Oh my God. I'm also confused. I need to think. Marta, are you listening? Leave her alone. Oh, and you're live streaming it, you little brat. Oh no. Her car. Don't listen to that. I'm here. I'm not on Twitter anymore. I'm not on Twitter anymore, Jody. No one cares. Oh, oh, she's gonna have to get in the car with Ransom. She's getting in the car with Ransom. <laughs> That's. Hilarious! I think this could be the best thing to happen to all of you! <laughs> <laughs> this is hysterical, man. This movie's great. Oh my god, Chris Evans! Yes! We got time for him now! I'm so excited! Look me in the eye. Oh god. And tell me what happened to my That's why he asked for an extra bowl. Oh my god. You asshole. Marta, tell me. Everything. No. Alan, there have got to be options here. Oh God, <gasps> what a time to cut away. Mom. She'll do it. If granddad wanted to give Marta everything, then that's what he wanted. Yeah, yeah. Meg is the only one who is like grounded in reality. I like her. At least she's still like seeing clearly even with what happened with the will. She's, she doesn't care about money the way the rest of her family does. I know. She said every, she told him, holy sh Oh my God, is Ransom gonna keep the secret? Oh no. I'm not gonna tell my family You're not gonna go to jail. That detective's not gonna catch you and you're not gonna give up the money. Holy Cause it's not what granddad would've wanted. Let me help you go all the way. Really? What's going on? This isn't you. Yeah, what the Why? Because my family. Yeah, I honestly hate his family so much that if I could like make a million dollars and like be good with my family, but screw this nice lady over that my grandpa liked and that I kind of liked or do this, I would do this probably. <laughs> Look, no one knows I'm calling you. I just, I wanted to. Look, I, I think you should give it back to us. Oh no, Meg, Meg, that's, oh Meg. I thought you were cool. Mom's broke. She says I'm gonna have to drop out of school. No, 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 Meg. Listen, I won't let that happen. Whatever money you need, I'll give it to you. I'm here for you. Oh wow, the tables have really turned. Isn't that funny? And once I... She just hung up. They were all watching. They all manipulated her into that phone call and now she thinks Marta did kill Harlan, like intentionally for the money. Yes, he found Matt upstairs where I broke in through the window. Identifiable prints. This is good that she's got an accomplice now to help her, cause she can't lie. The problem is they keep asking her to participate in the investigation. I know what you did. Office of the Chief Medical Examiner. I know what you did. The toxicology report, right, the morphine. I was gonna say, like a toxicology report would prove it. What's this? It's my medical back tack. They have my medical back for some reason. Oh yeah, but they're keeping it secret. What's the point in sending you this? Yeah, I don't, I don't get it either. Oh, <gasps> who burned the building? They burned the records? Uh-oh, who did that? Oh my God, there are some people behind the scenes that we don't know about yet. <gasps> you guys shouldn't show yourselves here. You guys probably could have seen this on the news and not shown yourself here. Oh, I haven't checked my email. Okay, back it up, back it up. Don't check it here, leave the property. Oh my God. One. Yeah, that's it. 12.09 Columbus Road, 10 a.m. But what time is it right now? Okay, good. Wow, you have time. <laughs> He's gonna see you. He just saw you. He just saw you. <laughs> you are, you, you showed yourself here. Oh no. Go, go, go. Are you, are you flooring it? I am literally flooring it. <laughs> You're literally flooring it. Your car is pathetic. He's calling you. This makes you look really bad, Marta. Really, 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 really bad. I couldn't do this without you. Yeah, he's here. He found you. 
I spoke to Winetta Thromby, great nana. Uh-oh. Out of the party, she saw someone climbing the trellis to the third floor. She said it was Ransom, didn't she? They think it's him. Oh, no! Ransom came back, she said. Yeah, they suspect a Ransom. Oh, no. Hey, you don't didn't need to think. Did he ask you to drive when he saw me coming? Yes. And he did. Oh, no, she didn't. She's just gonna throw up. I'll drive with Marta. Oh. Let's go to the police station. Is he gonna smell the throw up? Down on everything he said to you. Oh my god, he's so not sus of her! It's so funny! I can't with this movie! It's so funny and stressful and great. Oh my god, this is fun, man. <laughs> in a hole in the middle. Yeah, the hole is Marta that you are driving with, sir. Talking through my process here, let me know. Oh my god! <laughs> it's not boring! Oh, so you're not gonna be able to go get the thing. Do you mind if I stop for a second? I need to pick something up. She's gonna do it with him there. That is a bold move. She's gonna do it with him in the car. Hello? He's sitting right there in the chair behind the pole. You better hope that Benoit Blanc doesn't look, oh, it's her medical bag, doesn't look in the window. Oh my God, are they alive? Are they dead? Who is this? Is it Fran? Uh. Is Fran? She dead? Oh my God, all these bodies are just piling around this woman. No, 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 Frank. And she just had a death rattle and your DNA's all over her. Morphine. Stay with Copy. me. What? Copy. Copy. Stash? What? Copy a copy of stash somewhere. You did this. I'll get away with this. Sister. Uh. Uh. Why, why? She can't, yeah, she can't let herself, she can't let her die. She's gonna do CPR. The thought of you stays bright. Not uh -huh. going left. left. Not going right. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, what song is that? It's a Broadway musical. What song is that? So I'm gonna tell you the truth. Young Ransom just told Lieutenant Elliot everything. Oh, what did he say? Did he really tell her, tell him the truth? I have to tell the Thrombies myself. I feel like I owe that to them. Well, well, I don't think that's a good no, idea. I have to do it. I need to do it. Holy <laughs> She's gonna tell the, the truth? And and Ransom really told the, oh my God, everything? Well, I think it would be better if we were to get her the gift and get this over with. This is also weird. What if this whole thing has been staged? Like what if Harlan's not actually dead and that's why they didn't invite her to the funeral and she's just a pawn in a game and now it was like a big story, like a fictional story or something. I'm just, I'm starting to feel like this is the, Benoit Blanc is acting weird. I like that she's apologizing. <laughs> God, I am so rating Fran Stash after this. I still think this is a bad idea. I don't know, maybe I'm just coming up with a crazy hypothesis, but this just feels I know where the tox report is. Wild. Fran Stash? <gasps> and I just handed it to you. Yeah. God, you're not much of a detective, are you? Ah! The dogs! The dogs have to be here to listen to! That you deserved to hear it from me. <laughs> oh, he's gonna tell her to stop. I... Excuse me! The dog, the dog did a double take. <laughs> that was such a funny touch. Even Ransom is like confused because he's like, I told the truth when I was in Jail. Get the family out. Yes, but not all of them. Are you Blanc? What do you think, you Blanc? <laughs> what is happening? What is happening? Marta, I'm so sorry. I told them everything. I figured it was up. I'm sorry. Hey, it's all right, Ransom. I'm glad you did. Not exactly everything, though. Was it all Ransom? You might tell us all. Why you hired me? Oh, he hired him. I was right with my first guess? I went back on it. And you know, if Marta was responsible for his death, even unintentionally, the Slayer rule would nullify the change will and you would get your share back. You use the syringes in the kit to switch the liquids and the two medication vials. And as a final precaution, you took the naloxone. Oh, wow. She couldn't find the naloxone. That's horrible. Then when I got them mixed up, I, I accidentally switched them back, so I gave Harlan... The correct doses. Oh, so he slit his throat? He slit his throat for no reason? And Harlan was... I'm sorry, Marta, but yes. Oh, that's really sad. He didn't need to slit his throat. 
In fact, if Harlan had listened to you and called the ambulance... He would've been fine. He would've lived. He would be alive today. Oh, that's tragic. A twisted web. And we are not finished untangling it. Not yet. We're not finished! Oh my god! You don't have a shred of evidence. You're just spinning a fairy tale. Not a shred, no. It's your word. You have her confession. Yeah, in reality, no one would believe a story this convoluted. But I love it in a movie. Now the circumstances are perfect for the anonymous hiring of me. Enter Benoit Blanc. The cinematography is so funny right what now. What are you saying? She just... Yeah, she just let him go. That cop loves a good story. That is why. You missed the funeral. Oh. There's no one home to wonder why you're going into Harlan's study. Or so you think. <gasps> Fran was home. Oh, I hope Fran survives. That Hallmark movie she told me about with Tanika McKellar. Deadly by surprise. Ah, he knows everything. He has come knows every murder story. So she photocopies the header and makes her blackmail note. So why did she send it to me? She didn't. She sent it to Ransom. Oh, and then he sent it to you. A blood tox report will prove her guilt. He goes to the will reading in high spirits, ready to see the family tear itself apart. This is so, I, this is chaotic as f man. Martyr's confession. He now realizes that Martyr has committed no crime and the tox report will prove her innocence. The change will is gonna stand. He has lost. Uh-huh. Oh, because she swapped the vials accidentally. You decide you are in. The fire! He did it! Don't you come near me. Don't come near Fran. me! Fran! Oh, Fran, no! Oh my god, the pan around the clogs! The morphine! Ah! Oh my god, the stylized shots of everything. So dramatized, I love it. She wasn't talking about me, she said. You did this. You. You did this. Ah, uh, yeah, Hugh did this. Wow, what a great choice naming him Hugh. But it's great, like ha having him go by his middle name for most people, but not the help, you know? That's great. Saving Fran's life. Though it meant her losing the inheritance and going to jail, she didn't play your game. Yeah, she didn't. And Fran's alive? Who will confirm this very story? Oh, the hospital's calling. Oh, please say that she's alive. Maybe we don't know whether or not Fran's alive. This is a tactic that he's taking. Doctor, that's great news. <sighs> she's okay. Oh, is she? Please don't throw up. Could you imagine if she's lying right now and not throwing up? It'd be like growth. All right, up, come on. Is she gonna throw up? I feel like Fran's dead. I feel like that'd just be funny. Yeah, I killed Fran, but I guess I didn't. So what do you have on me? Nothing. What, attempted murder? I get arson for the building and a few other charges. You made him snap. Which I have. I'll be out in no time. Well, you already admitted that you killed someone. You vicious little She's throwing up. She's gonna throw up. Ah! Ah! She threw up on him! That means she's lying! Yeah, good job, dude. Fran's dead. Fran died. Oh. So now you get murder. And you just confessed to her murder. I really don't like seeing him covered in chunks. It's nasty. Oh, you're <laughs> showing the voice memo? In for a penny. Were you gonna kill her? Oh my God. Holy sh Yeah, you guys were just letting him hang out around her, around a wall of knives. Oh, it's a toy knife. It was a toy knife. Oh yeah, because he said some of the knives are props. <laughs> this is so good! Oh my god! This movie is great, man. This is so funny. Yeah, bye-bye. Look at them all pitying themselves. So pathetic. Oh, because they realize it's not Marta and it's Ransom. Yeah. Oh, what? You're walking up to the cops with a wad of cash like you can bribe them out of taking your son away for murder? And now she's realizing not only is her son an asshole, but she's going to realize her. I can't believe she was going to like, she was sitting there casually smoking a cigarette as her son is getting carted away to get arrested. Isn't that kind of crazy? I should help them, right? 
Oh. oh I have my opinion, but I have a feeling you'll follow your heart. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I'd really help any of them. I would probably help Meg finish college. And that would be it. And I would draw the line there and just say, sorry, I'm not helping you anymore. And I'd sell the house for sure. I would sell the house. I'd give, I'd offer it to them first to buy it at a, at like a discounted, a very severely discounted rate just to get rid of the house. Cause I wouldn't want to live here. Cause I wouldn't want them knowing where I live. But look at her getting comfortable, like, you know, with a mug of coffee and the blanket on her balcony. It's so funny. Oh, he got punched by Linda, huh? Yeah. She lives here now. She lives here now. And what do you have? Nothing, because you're all miserable to be around each other and you hate each other anyway. Can we keep the dogs though? My house, my coffee, my rules. <laughs> oh. This actually did feel like a holiday movie for all the wrong reasons, you know? Well, one, because of the weather, um, and two, because it's uh, about family trauma. <laughs> This was so much fun, and I'm really excited to finally see Glass Onion when it is available outside of theaters, which will definitely be a little while, because at the time of me filming this, it's actually the 21st, so it's being released in like a couple days to theaters. So we'll definitely have a ways to wait to watch Glass Onion, but I'm really excited to see what they do with the sequel. I'm assuming we're gonna see all of these faces again, if not most of them. There's a very like talented and well-rounded cast in terms of just all the characters. Everyone's so different from each other, and yet most of them are just so insufferable. Uh, I really, I really love this movie. And I hope that we see Daniel Craig again too, although I don't know if we will, because his character seems contingent upon there being a crime, but I would assume in Glass Onion, there must be another crime, maybe another murder that happens, but I don't know. I haven't seen a trailer for it or anything, but maybe I'll check that out soon now that I've seen this movie. This is just really funny. I mean, from the opening shot with the dramatic music and the narration and just the right moments, the comedy infused into the stakes of everything, plot twist after plot twist after plot twist, and this web just getting more and more confusing until finally we see the full picture. And even like the little cinematography touches that they decided to go for with Fran being attacked. I mean, that was so good. Just the cutting to black each and every shot, the times that we chose to pan in and zoom in very quickly on characters' faces for dramatic effect during monologues was really great. I love the fact that this character, Benoit Blanc, didn't speak for a while and would just tap a piano key, presumably every time he thought people were lying. This movie really reels you in quickly and hooks you very fast. It was very addictive, very fun. I think everyone did a great job. I could definitely see myself watching this again for fun, but I'd probably want to show it to someone who hasn't seen it just because now I know how it all plays out. Although I'm sure there are many little intricacies and moments that I missed because I really felt like I had to sit there silently for a lot of scenes just to pick up on every little moment that was happening. And oftentimes I would be saying something and miss something. Um, so I definitely would love to rewatch this again at some point in the future, but it would also be really fun to just show to friends that haven't seen it. It was very, very entertaining. I loved all the references to, to different movies or Broadway musicals, but this was a lot of fun and I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this movie with me. If you did, definitely make sure to give it a thumbs up so that I know and I can watch more things like this in the future and definitely check out the sequel when it's available. Of course, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and anything else you might like me to watch next and subscribe if you want to. Till the next one, stay golden. Bye.